While she was present at the trooping the color for the king's birthday today, the Princess of Wales offered a touching homage to her late mother-in-law. As she made her way to the horse guards parade with Queen Camilla and her three children, 41-year-old Kate Middleton looked chic in a vivid green, satin-like dress and coordinating cap. The Prince of Wales was riding beside King Charles close by on horseback. In the carriage, Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, made their way down the mall while smiling and waving to bystanders. In keeping with Princess Diana's style, the mother of three accessorized her ensemble with a set of sapphire drop earrings that belonged to her late mother-in-law. Today's ceremony marks King Charles' first birthday parade and the first trooping the color since Queen Elizabeth II's passing in September. In keeping with her position as Colonel of the Irish Guards, which she assumed from her husband at the end of the previous year, Kate chose for a daring one-color ensemble, sporting green from head to toe. Kate donned a gold brooch in the form of a clover as an additional homage to her Irish heritage. The princess completed her appearance by wearing her chestnut hair in a low bun that was tucked under the brim of her hat. The three children of Kate were seen traveling to the event together and greeting royal admirers with smiles. Later, she stood on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch a fly past of around 70 aircraft from the Royal Navy, British Army, and Royal Air Force. Along with her husband, the Prince of Wales, George, Louis, and Charlotte, King Charles, and Queen Camilla, the mother of three was present. In addition to Princess Anne and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, made an appearance on the balcony with her husband Prince Edward. The aircraft took off from 15 different places around the UK, according to the Ministry of Defence mod, before coming together in the southeast of England and flying above London. The event included a variety of aircraft, including the Sion 30 Hercules, which was making its final ceremonial flight, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, which dates back to the 1940s, many Typhoon fighter jets, and the Envoy 4 CC-1, which made its fly pass debut. A Juno HT-1 flown by Flight Lieutenant Tom Knapp of 60 Squadron, no, one flying training school located at Raf Shabari led the fly past. The Red Arrows pilots performed a spectacle of red, white, and blue as the event came to a close. Many of the planes participating in the fly past, according to the mod, have been active in missions throughout the globe this year, including the NATO air policing mission in Eastern Europe and the removal of British nationals from Sudan. The Queen and other royals will be present as Charles watches the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards troop present their colours on Saturday. For more than 260 years, the yearly ceremony of Trooping the Colour has served as the formal celebration of the Sovereign's birthday. The coronation fly passed with more than 60 aircraft from the Royal Navy, British Army, and Royal Air Force was scheduled for May but was cancelled owing to unsuitable weather conditions. Instead, a two-and-a-half-minute spectacle with the Red Arrows and helicopters from the three services went place. Royal Navy helicopter footage demonstrated how bad the weather was above London. Trooping the color is what? Since it began more than 260 years ago, the UK's annual Trooping the Color event has been staged to commemorate the birthday of the current monarch. The event will happen this year on Saturday, June 2017. The King is expected to attend and salute, and the household division, the King's personal troops, will be positioned on Horse Guards Parade. The procession will pass members of the royal family on horseback and in carriages as it travels from Buckingham Palace along the Mall to Horse Guards procession, drawing large crowds who will be seen waving flags. The parade officer in command will issue 113 words of instruction. From Buckingham Palace, the procession travels along the Mall, past Horse Guards procession, on to Whitehall, and then back. Before inspecting the troops, who are fully equipped and operational soldiers wearing the ceremonial dress of red tunics and bearskin headgear, Charles will be greeted with a royal salute during the event. The escorted regimental color is carried along the ranks following a musical troupe by the massed musicians. His Majesty, the King's troop, and the Royal Horse Artillery will march past the foot guards and household cavalry. The king will then lead his guards on a ride back to Buckingham Palace where he will take the salute. 
the Royal Air Force will subsequently do a fly past, and His Majesty will watch it with other members of the royal family on the balcony of the palace. As the planes flew low over the center of the city, rain streaks appeared on the windshields. The birthday fly past has been expanded, according to the mod, in honor of the new king. Air Chief Marshal Sir Rich Knighton, head of the air staff, said, We have planned a fitting and appropriate tribute for our monarch. That should be a true spectacle for the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. We are very proud to be able to showcase our capabilities to our commander-in-chief on this historic occasion for His Majesty the King. It is a great honor to be part of His Majesty the King's birthday celebrations, said Air Vice Marshal Mark Fluin, where the fly past is an opportunity for us to showcase formation, precision, and excellence in the air to our commander-in-chief on such a special occasion.